Hi everyone, Nessie here. Um, I've got some more paper bag albums to show you. These are going to be the last ones of these that I do for a while. But I wanted to show them to you. Um, my, I've had to zoom my camera in quite a bit because I've got a bit of a bad back so I need to sit down to do these. Um, so I've done three floral ones, an orchid one and a couple of different ones and I've done a bee one but um, yeah I'm going to show them all individually so I'm going to start off with this one in an orchid theme I used a kit by the little journal shop called orchid junk journal kit I think this is her first kit and I quite liked it because it was um, different I like the colours in it and I don't think I've seen anyone do orchids before and I love orchids they remind me of my mother so this is made like my other paper bag albums out of eight paper bags I will put a link to the tutorial in the description below and I will also put a link to the kit in the description below um, so the front cover is an image from the kit along with a little doily some gauze and a wooden butterfly and there's a metal butterfly charm on there it's an attached enclosure with um, seam binding there's a lace on the spine and just a bit of cut off page from the um, kit on the back in the side as you can take these out if you want to but you don't have to you can just pull them aside and it opens fine so on the first page there are the two large pockets and each pocket has a cluster on with orchids and inside there are two tags on in each pocket these are just made out of card what, uh, cream card, not cream, ivory I think it is oh, don't know why that was in there <laughs> and another two these are all images from the kits and some lacing and a bit of fabric on these and inside, like with my other paper bag albums there will be two cards in each bag one for this page and one for the page on the other side. This is for this page. It's punched edge card. And again, these are just done out of the cream card. So that's the card for that side. I'll leave it out so I can show you how they go in. And then on the page this side, there's another card. And then inside, there are these little flap divides from the they're basically the folds of the um, bag and one card goes in on one side and the other card goes in the other side like so and that's like with all of the bags so I'll only explain that with this one Next page we have an image from the kit and that's a flip up and there's a stamped image on there and journaling space. Here we have a small pocket with an image from the kit with a little card in. The cards and the tags apart from the front ones have all been backed with tea dyed paper. There is a large card in this pocket. On the other side there is another little pocket with a smaller tag from the kit. Uh, image from the kit. And on this side there is this card. It's so different this kit. I love it. I really do like it. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do an orchid kit before. And the card on that side. Yep, 
And here we have two large cards in this pocket. There is another cluster here with a butterfly on this time. Here we have a little lace pocket, just a small lace pocket with a little wooden butterfly and some pink lacing on. In there there is an envelope from the kit and that has a little card in as well. And then that flips up to more journaling space, there's a butterf stamped butterfly. The card on this side is this image. And then on the other side, the card, the large card has this image, the butterflies. In the large pocket there are two more large cards, there's this one and this one, these are all from the kit. In the small pocket here with a little bit of lace trimming there are two little tickets that have also been backed and another larger tag. This is an image from the kit and the card on this side, there's a total of nine of these punched cards. And on the other side there is this one. put them in properly later. There's a big corner pocket on this one from the kit and in here we have two cards. This side there is another flip up but I've done a little tuck spot there with two um, tickets from the kit. That comes out with a little card in it, which just tucks into the tickets. This flips up. There's a, another butterfly on the back side. Here we have a punched pocket. A punched pocket with some ribbon, rick rack, and a, another little wooden butterfly. And in there is this envelope. I love this envelope from the kit. I like the music paper. A little butterfly on the other side and there's a card in there and also there is a larger journaling card in there so that's um, the orchid one I have to say I do love this kit it's such a different kit I won't do it up I'll do them up later the next two are floral ones and these are Artie Mae's kits. This kit is called Summer Softness. It's, it's a lovely kit again. On this one we have a bit of a doily with some paper flowers and a wooden butterfly on the bottom of here. Again there is a lace on the spine, some paper from the kit. It's an attached enclosure again with seam binding. Opens up. This one's quite unusual in the fact that it's pink and blues put together. They're not two colours I would normally put together, but I think it works in this kit. So on here there is some clusters on the first two pockets again. And inside the pockets there is one blue and one pink tag. And again on this side. Uh, the cards in 
work the exact same way as they do in the other bag so I'm not going to explain it but the card on this side is this one and again they're punched edge different punch but it's a punched edge then we card on this side is this one Here we have a flip up. This has got a little um, tuck spot on it. And a little pocket envelope that I made from one of the papers with a little card inside. Again, these have been backed with um, avocado paper in this one. These ones are, yeah, avocado dyed paper. This one flips up again and there is a flower stamped image journeying space here we have a little tuck spot pocket with some lace trimming and a wooden butterfly with a little card in and again here we have another pink and blue tags this kit doesn't actually come with any pockets or envelopes or tags I kind of just made them all out of the papers and the tag on this side is this one they are beautiful papers though and the tag on this side is this one This is an image from the kit. Here we have a little pocket, tag pocket with some lacing on. Has a little card in. The large card here is this one. And again on the other side there is another little tag pocket with some lace trimming on. And this one has a blue card in. Here we have a flip up which has got some lace trimming on and a little pink flower that flips up to a flower and says have a beautiful day and an image from the kit and the card on this side is this one. The card on the other side is this one. Curiosities. This pocket has two large cards in. There's this one and this one. These are just shrunken down pages really. Here we have a cluster that's got a large wooden butterfly and some buttons on it. This is an image from the kit. The card on this side is this one. And on the other side, there is this. Here we have a large corner pocket. And in there, there is a little tag and a larger journaling card. On this side, there's another flip that has a little tuck spot in here with a smaller card in and some lace trimming here we have a belly band punched belly band with some ribbon rickshaw and a little wooden butterfly inside under the belly band is an envelope that I made out of one of the papers and in here I've put a larger card and I've also put in a piece of um, paper that says notes on it so I've just added those in there and this one has a larger journaling card as well so that's the second floral one there's some stamping on this as well let me there you go that's the second floral one the next floral one is also using a kit by Artie Mays and this kit is called Lavender Hues 
and again I will put links to all of the kits that I've used in the description box below again this one has purple paper flowers on with some gauzing and some lacing and a wooden flower on there again uh, image from the kit lace spine attached ribbon enclosure this one's more is a ribbon this time not seam binding and we open it to the first two large pockets with clusters you do a close-up of your cloth of the clusters and these also have large tags in and these two and then the large tag on this side is again a punched tag punched one and on the other side there is this one again we have a um, flip up on this page this has a little corner pocket with a tag in and these ones are coffee dyed backed it's a little, just a little punched corner pocket with a wooden flower on. And that will flip up to a flower stamped image and journaling spaces. Here we've done, I've done another lace pocket on this one with a little purple flower on. Just, and this has two cards in. And here we have a envelope from the kit. And in this envelope, I've put um, a couple of journal cards into there. Pretty little envelope. And there is a tag from the kit as well. And the card on this side is like so. And then on the other side, just slip that one back in. On the other side, there's a, just an image from the kit with that large journaling card. Here we have a small pocket with a little flower charm and doily on and two little mini cards, uh, not cards, tags, sorry. And a large journaling card. And on the other side is another small pocket, again with a wood metal flower and doily and two mini tags. Here we have another flip up, this time with some lace trimming on. That flips up to another stamped image and an image from the kit. Here we have this card. Lots of um, journaling space on these big cards. Or photos if you want to add photos. I know some people add, like to add photos to these little albums. And this side is that one. such a lovely little present for someone that is junk journaling and two little two big cards in this pocket this pocket is decorated with some lacing a doily and a paper flower this is an image from the kit card on this side They do slide in quite easily, it's just some of the paper bags have the tabs on the inside. And the card on this side is, oh, doesn't want to come out, I know it does, there you go, yeah, that one. Here we have a 
corner pocket again with some lacing and a wooden flower it has a larger tag in it and another larger journaling card On this side there is another flip up with a little um, wooden butterfly on. It has a tuck spot on it with a little card. That flips up to another stamped image. Here we have another belly band, punched belly band with some ribbon, not ribbon, purple lace, little purple flower. It's quite nice to do something in purple. It's not a colour you get to do very often. This is another pocket from the kit envelope. And that has a little um, open out journaling card in. And also has a large journaling card in. So that's the two, the three. Sorry, that's my three floral ones. Like I say, these I think will make such beautiful presents for, I don't know, mums, girlfriends, daughters. But those are the floral ones. And of course, if I'm doing anything, I have to do a bee one. I do love bees. So I use two kits in this one. One by Calico Collage and one by Seneca Pond Craft. I think I'll put links to the shops anyway but they're bee kits so on this front cover there is an image from one of the kits there is a, fla a doily type flower with some gauzing and uh, I covered a button with some bee fabric and in the corner there is some um, hessian lacing and a little silver bee charm I don't know if you can see that lighting's not great then there's some hessian on the spine. There is um, paper, an image with little bees on and some rickrack. This one has an attached ribbon enclosure. It opens up the same way. And on the inside, we have our first two large pockets with clusters. This one says Queen Bee. This one is busy little bee with some gauzing and ribbon and collaging and inside there are two large tags and actually I've also used uh, these journaling cards have been shrunken down but they're by RT Mays as well uh, yeah the bee ones they're full size journaling cards but I shrunk them down for the tags and I think I use the full size ones in here as well. Yeah, I do. There's these two. And then the tags on big cards on these are punched again with images from kits. That one's on that side. And I'm going to push them all in. The one on this side is this one. And then here we have a flip up that has a little corner tuck spot that's made out of a shrunken down journaling card. It's got some hessian type trim. There's a little envelope. It's a pretty envelope. And inside there, there are two journaling cards. Life is the flower for which love is the honey. And this one. And then this flips up to, there's a bee stamped image and an image from one of the kits. Here we have little pockets that have got white little paper flower on and a little bead charm. Bee, bee charm. With two mini tags in. All these tags and cards have been backed with tea dyed paper in this one. And the card in there. And on the other side, again, there is uh, another little pocket and it has a tag and a card in. 
This is an image from the kit and the large card on this side is this one and it gives the definition of B on it. And on the other side there is this one that has a poem on called The Bee. And here we have another large pocket with another cluster on. This cluster's got some buttons and a bee charm. And inside here are, these are the larger cards by Artie Mays. Honey Bee. These are really nice cards. I like the fact that they've got descriptions on them. On this side we have another flip up which is an image from one of the kits, some of the hessian trim, and I've just added a little cutout of a bee on it. That flips up, and on the flip out, there's a little bee, and it says, Be Beautiful. Again, there's a little poem on here about the bee. I do love bees. This card on this side. Next page, there is a card on this side. And this time there, in this pocket, there is two postcards, B-themed postcards. And here is a small pocket again of a B. There's a little bit of yellow lacing and a flower on it and there's a tag in this one another image from the kit in this card now flip the page and the card on this side is this one And again, we have a um, corner pocket here. There's a large corner pocket. And in there, there is a little turning card. And another spelling B one. On this side, there is another flip up there with a top corner tuck spot. And that gives you a recipe for honey gingerbread, which is quite nice. And that flips up. And this one has a stamped image, be happy. Here we have another punched belly band. This one's got a little bee bead on it that slides up and down its little string. And under here there is this envelope love this envelope i'm not sure what they're called but it pops open like so inside there are two little cards and writing space or journaling space in there so you can do like a little secret journal thing and then closing it's easy you just one side one side one side and then this side you just tuck it under and it's so pretty and then there is another journaling card in there with a poem on about the bee. And that's the bee one. So those are my four cards. Now I will, um, four paper bag albums. I am going to be listing these in my Etsy shop. And I also currently have a Black Friday sale in my Etsy shop. So you can get them for a bargain price. <laughs> if you... Um, like them please do comment i do love to hear your views and um please do subscribe and if you haven't already and like like i say these are going to be the last paper bag ones i do this year i am hoping to do a tutorial on a vertical paper bag album next year after christmas it's so hectic now that christmas is on its way but yeah please do like comment subscribe thank you so much for watching hope you enjoy them and i will see you next time